The best way to invest in hard money loans. Hey everyone, Adam Bergman here, tax attorney and founder of IRA Financial. And on today's podcast, what is the best way to invest in a hard money loan? And here's the answer. It's pretty simple. It's with a retirement account, especially a Roth IRA or Roth 401k. The answer is pretty simple. Why? Because when you invest in a hard money loan, and what's a hard money loan? It's when you actually are lending someone money, whether it's an individual, a real estate developer, a business. That's what is a hard money loan, also known as a credit fund. Credit funds just a little bit more sophisticated because it's going to be lending you know, more sophisticated borrowers funds. But essentially, it's just a loan, right? You're just literally lending someone money. Now, if you did that with personal funds, you're going to generate ordinary income tax on the interest you receive, not capital gains treatment, ordinary income. That is the interest on a loan is subject to ordinary income tax, not capital gains because you're not selling a piece of property like stock or real estate. You're receiving ordinary income interest from a loan. So ordinary income tax is a higher tax rate than capital gains. Capital gains generally have two tax rates, 15% and 20% plus a 3.8% Obama tax if you're a high income earner, approximately over $650,000. If you are an ordinary income taxpayer, you're going to pay tax rates that go much higher, right? In 2024, the income tax rates can go as high as 35%. So, um, and, and that threshold obviously is based off your income. So once you're between, um, 201 and 383, you're paying 24%, which is far higher than the capital gains tax rate. So the idea is that, Hey, if you are, sorry, it's 37%, which is the highest tax rate, not 35, 37% for income over $609,000. So if you're able to take if you're a high income earner, or you, even someone who's paying over 22% tax, you have the ability to take that and zero it out either in a Roth IRA or at least defer it in a regular IRA. Why? If you did a hard money loan with a traditional IRA, all the interest back into that IRA is tax deferred. It is not subject to any tax, no ordinary income tax, no capital gains tax. But when you pull the money out after 59 and a half, it is subject to ordinary income tax. However, what you've been able to do is defer the tax when you receive the interest. So if you're in your 30s or 40s and are doing hard money loans, that money can grow in the IRA, not subject to tax, which is known as compounded returns. And then when you pull the money out of the retirement account, maybe in your 60s or 70s, yes, you have to pay income tax on what you pull out. But all the gains and in income and interest from the loans were able to be reinvested tax-free and was able to be reinserted into the IRA without tax, which is known as deferral. Now, if you did hard money loans in a Roth IRA, you would have the same tax-deferred benefits as a traditional IRA. But so long as you're over 59 and a half and the Roth's been open at least five years, you could pull everything out of the Roth IRA tax-free. No distribution tax on Roth IRA. So long as you're over 59 and a half, the Roth IRA has been open at least five years. So that is obviously a huge tax advantage. And that's why engaging in a hard money loan transaction, either through an IRA or ultimately in a Roth IRA, is so, so tax valuable. And it's the most optimized way to engage in a hard money loan transaction from a tax standpoint. In a traditional IRA, you're going to defer the tax until you take whatever you want out of a distribution IRA subject to tax, or so long as you're 59 and a half, the Roth's been open five years, did hard money loans in a Roth IRA, a self directed Roth IRA, you can shelter all the gains from your hard money loans, all that interest, all the gains tax free. All right. So when you compare ordinary income tax rates of maximum of 35% or capital gains tax rates, which actually don't even apply in this context. So you're looking at 35 and potentially deferring it for multiple, multiple years, and then being able to take whatever you want out and, and then based off your tax rate at a later stage in your life, you're probably going to be at a lower tax rate, or at least you could potentially game out when you're going to pull that money out based off your specific tax rate for that year. 
In a Roth IRA, you're not even going to care about tax rates. You don't care where the ordinary income tax rates are because so long as you're 59 and a half and your Roth has been open five years, everything you pull out of that Roth IRA is tax-free. So all the hard money loans you do would be tax-free. So even if you're averaging 8, 10, 12% rate of return, you can double your money, right? If you average a 10% rate of return and a hard money loan, you're going to get at least 10% on your, on your money, especially in today's environment. You'll double your retirement money every seven years, approximately, with a 10% rate of return. So if you were able to defer that 20, 30, 40 years, you can triple, quadruple your retirement balance and defer all the gains. And then ultimately, if you are lucky enough to have a Roth IRA, you can defer it, defer it, defer it, quadruple your money, and then ultimately pull it all out tax-free, which is the gold standard of tax planning. So specifically for hard money loans, because it's not subject to capital gains, it's not like a real estate transaction or buying and selling stock, buying and selling cryptos, buying and selling gold or any property. This is a transaction that generates ordinary income tax, which is the least tax efficient mode and character of income. So if you can then shift all that, especially in the Roth, zero taxation, or if you can't go Roth in the traditional IRA, where you can at least defer the taxation for many, many years. So your retirement account could then double, triple, or quadruple. And then time when that money goes out, when you're at a lower interest rate, or sorry, lower tax rate, you could then generate deferred, take advantage of the power of compound and returns, and then time out when you pull the money out to take advantage of tax bracket. So when you put it all together, it's very, very simple to see why doing a hard money loan in a self-record IRA or a self-record Roth IRA is so tax advantageous. Now, just a quick plug in IRA Financial, we're the leading IRA financial provider, uh, self-record IRA provider. Yeah, our name, it's in our first name. I get it. Now, we have over 25,000 accounts, 3.3 billion in assets. We have flat fee pricing. So if you're doing a self-record IRA or a checkbook control, we make it simple. We set it up, do all the admin, record keeping, consulting, tax optimization, reporting, filing, everything we do. One flat fee, no, no asset valuation fees, no check fees. You know what? Not even wire fees. We make it as simple, efficient, and cost-effective as possible to set up a self-record IRA so you can do hard money loans or really almost any other investment you want and generate tax-deferred or tax-free gains in the case of a Roth. So that's it for today's podcast. Hope you enjoyed it. If you are engaging in hard money loans, consider doing it in a retirement account. If you think about doing it, um, consider uh, a self-directed IRA and hope you consider IRA Financial for all your self-directed needs. Have a great, great day. And I look forward to seeing everyone again on uh, the next ad bits. Ciao and uh, take care.